Hello and welcome. And as you can see, now I have a new car. And if any of you Eagle Eye spotters have noticed, this is not just a 125D, it is in fact a 125D Shadow Edition. So it comes with many, many things, which I'm gonna explain to you right now. So I'll just give you a walk around the car, and I'll probably do a, I don't know, dual carriage wave, country lane driving, all that sort of stuff. So at the front, you can immediately see that there is um, the black grill. So that's no longer chrome, it's black, which looks really nice. Around the side, you have some black rims with the M Sport Plus, well, the M, the M Performance brakes, which they look so nice. M Plus brakes are part of the Shadow Edition. Here's a good look at them at the back. Here's a look at the, and here's a look around here. You get darkened rear lights with the Shadow Edition, and you also get some dark, well, they have black chrome exhaust pipes instead of normal chrome. Righty, so that's probably the exterior done. I'll probably show you inside the practicality and what it's like inside. Got my indicator on because people have been coming behind me and like not knowing I'm indicating, so I just put my indicator on to let them know I'm stopped here. So, with the Shadow Edition, obviously, you get quite a lot of things. So, you get the black grill. The new wheels, the black wheels that is, the M Sport, well the M Performance brakes, Harman Kardon stereo sound system, that comes with it. Uh, what else comes with it? Mm, it's about it's about it, but it just makes the car look so much more upmarket. It looks so nice, much more, much better than the standard car without it. So, yeah. So what have we got around here? I do not know what this does down here. So if anyone wants to let me know, please do. Got really big door bins on the side here. You could fit many bottles in there. Little storage down here. Two cup holders here, and then this thing to close it. In here, you have quite a shallow uh, storage compartment here with a USB cable, which slides backwards and forwards. Um, what else do we have? We have a little charging 12 volt socket thing here. Well, I'm not sure what that is, but yeah. Uh, heated seats, that's an option. The professional media, uh, that's also an option. Which is probably definitely worth the upgrade. And we have some new dials, which is, I think is standard now on the new 1 series and 2 series. It's really nice new dials. I'm much referring to the old ones. Uh, around here is like stitching, which wasn't on there before. So I'm guessing that's now part of it. I think we're about done with the front. Oh yeah, like this bit of trim, it used to be all the way across and that's got like cut off around here. Um, yeah, I prefer it, it looks better. Uh, that's probably about it for the front. It's quite roomy, quite spacious. Love the driving position, the M Sport steering wheel. Uh, the Z8, no, the ZF8 gearbox, uh, that is standard with this car because I tried to look for a manual and apparently the manual is no longer with the 125D. So it's this gearbox and only this gearbox, which is fine for me because they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's probably about it. And the reason why my voice is, my, why my voice is quite croaky, um, I've been, Went to a football match on Sunday and it was a brilliant time. So I'm probably going to go around the passenger side if there's any room. It's quite a lot of stinging now. Whoa! Pro nave by the key. Let's open the door. That'd be fine. So, what's the room like in the side? Plenty of room. Absolutely plenty of room for me right now. Very comfortable. Lots of room in here. So that's what it's like in this, well, the front seat. So what would it be like behind me? So without moving the seat, this is what it's gonna look like if you were to get in it in that position. I've got loads of room. I'm not the tallest guy in the world. I am five foot eight and a half, the half counts, but still, 
still a lot of room in the back. Probably not behind me though, but I sit stupidly far back, so that's probably why. Uh, there's not much, there's not a lot of room in the back for five people. Oh, it's very cramped, but that's because it's rear wheel drive. So it eats a lot up into the space in the back. Got a bit of uh, air con flow at the back with a little charging point here as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Got a little hook here to carry your fancy pineapple shirt, whatever. Uh, that's probably about it. I can adjust these headrests like that, which I don't because it obscures the view at the back. Uh, that's probably about it, right at the back. Really comfortable, lots of space, little armrest here. Mm. That's probably about it. So, let's get on to the boot. Avoid the singing notes. Shut the door properly. Try and avoid the wind as much as possible. So, yeah, plenty of room in the back here. I've fit a lot of luggage in here before, so it's actually not as bad as you think. Um, little compartment here to store your watermelon or whatever you want to fit here. Snug fit, it's very snug. A um, bit more of the storage here to fit your bananas or whatever you want to put down there. You can fit probably like avocados in there as well. Uh, and yeah, I could, I'll probably remove the parcel shelf for you to see what it's like. Move it off. And these seats, actually no, yeah, go down like that, and look how much room you've got, it's brilliant, and you can, it's a very, very good space, I could probably get in here without the seats down, so, ugh. Look, plenty of room, plenty. So it's, uh, I think I'm about done with like everything. So now I'm probably gonna drive it. I've got to put this on back first. I never was a practical man. Cool. Anything else in there? Oh, yeah, charging thing. Here. Yeah. Yep, very practical car. Well, in my eyes. Right, that's me all faffing about done now, so I'm actually going to drive it. So, here we go. In the gate to show going off. I love this car. I've had this car for about um, a week now. No, not even a week. About five days. I absolutely love it. It's absolutely brilliant. Because I had a 120D um, not so long ago, and this just feels like another level. It just feels so much better with the extra power. Oh, I better let this Range Rover go. Even though he's got like a lot more coherence. Ah, oh, what a nice guy. Old girl, even. So, yeah, what have we got under the bonnet then? We have a 2 litre diesel. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked because it's quite a tight road. So, we have a 2 litre diesel, 0 to 60, 6.3 seconds, which is very, very fast for a 2 litre diesel. 2 litre diesel, 4 cylinder, 6.3 seconds. How much horsepower has it got? It has a total of 224 horsepower, which is very generous indeed. And the best part is the torque. So, you ready? 330 foot pound of torque. That's enough torque to like pull the moon. It's brilliant. For, for a little rear, rear wheel drive hatchback, 330 foot pound of torque. Absolutely incredible. I can't really think of any other diesel hatchbacks that have this sort of performance.
absolutely love it so much. I need to get out of these villages first, and then I can show you what this car really wields. So many yobbos around here driving very unsensibly. It's really comfortable as well. Suspension is very nice. I think for this bit, we're going to go sport mode, maximum attack mode. I haven't run this car in yet. It's only done 168 miles. I have to wait until 1000 so I can start really seeing what this car is all about. So, sorry for in advance for anyone who wants to see the true potential of this car, but I probably will post another video for that. It's just, I just love the combination of this car. It's a sporty hatchback with rear wheel drive and loads of power, and it's economical. What more could you ask for? It's just, it's just everything. I love it so much. Check if everyone's here. And, uh, yes. This car is a joy. What's that noise? May not fit the parcel shelf probably correctly. Whoops. In terms of visibility, very good. Window at the back is very big. Love it. Such a beautiful day. 224 horsepower for a diesel hatchback. It's just insane. I love it so much. Right, I'm going to come up here and see if I, what people I can overtake to show you how immense the power is. Come on. Whoa, hey. There's a little bit of a slip there, but it didn't quite go off. Because it's only in sport mode, it's not in sport plus, so all the traction's still there. So so much power, it's so amazing. What is that coming on the outside? You don't want to overtake me, but too late. Ah, oh, the van room on my fun. No, not the lorry. Oh my god, I literally picked the worst time to go this way. So, this car costs around 36 and a half grand less price because there is a quite a few options in this that bump the price up a little bit. But if you just look at like a car of maybe about 8,000 miles after this, you can literally you can literally find one for maybe with this with this spec, you can literally find one for about what 25 grand, 
even less than that maybe 22 grand 21 grand it's they it's such good value for a car like this it really is like in my other video the 4 series it was 44 or 43 grand list price and then within like 8 months you can find the same car for about 25 grand it's ridiculous but it's just so worth it so much performance practicality for back people is well if he's carrying free it's not great but it's yeah, and you opt for the five door then wouldn't you so I've opted the three door because it's just it looks so much better but yeah if I was to get if I was actually personally buy one of these I would definitely definitely get the shadow dish and it just makes the car look so much more nicer and you have the obviously the upgraded set uh, screen here pro nav which uh, I don't know if I would choose that as an option it, the, the smaller one does the exact same job really it's just a bigger one this gives you a bigger wider screen Look at the pick up the speed. Oh, it's 40 now. What a shame. Always give way to the right. Oh, what a nice guy, he said thank you. There's definitely room for two cars. Sweet.
Let's get a slide going. Ah, uh, can't quite do it. Yes, overtake central. Look at the speed of this. Whoa! That, that's why this car is great. That power is always there when you need it. This is, oh, I love it. Like, if anyone is out there watching this who wants a 1 Series 120D and they haven't driven one of these yet, 125D. Please, please get this one. This is so much better. So, so much more worth your money. So much more performance. Same fuel consumption. In reality, it would probably be around the same fuel consumption. It's just definitely worth getting. And if you want an automatic, then it comes standard with this car. Because of the 120 it's either manual or auto, which is an option. If you want this one, the automatic, the sports auto, you need to pay that for an option. Whereas in this car, it's completely standard because that's the only one it comes with. It's definitely, it's definitely the car to go for. I don't really know where I'm going right now, so I think I mentioned pretty much everything in the video I needed to. It was just pretty much a video about what it's what it's like inside, what the Shadow Edition comes with, and then just what it's, see what it's like in the road and how quick it is, and it's so fast. Like uh, the difference between a 120D and a 125D is like what? It's, 35 horsepower and like an extra 30 or 50 foot pound of torque and it just feels so much quicker much more lively it suits this car so much and when you're just driving it along it doesn't feel like it has to try so hard to get up to speed it just feels so effortless and seamless it's so good I just can't understand why anyone wouldn't get this over 120D. Like this this generally has put a, like a smile on my face whenever I'm driving it. It's just such a joy to drive. And it's not even run in yet. I mean I don't actually know if running it in makes a huge difference in performance. I like to think it does. And hopefully when I when I do actually run this in it's gonna be such a joy to drive and I'm going to show you what it really is like and make a separate video 
show you what it's been like after a thousand miles, what it's been, how fast it's been, how much it's changed. So, I think that's going to wrap up the video really. I think I've talked about everything that I needed to. If there, if, if there isn't, if it's things I haven't talked about, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you've got any questions, please ask and I'll, I'll reply to them all. And yeah, that's probably about it. I'll make a video sometime soon, soon on another car. But yeah, I love my new car. It's brilliant. Ugh. So yeah, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.